today's experiment i am going to design basic logic gates using 7400 ic all of us know that 7400 ic is an ic with four nand gates these four nand gates are interconnected to design different basic logic gates such as or gate not gate xor gate etc etc now first of all let us see an ic 7400 ic it consists of 14 legs and the leg numbering is done in the anti clockwise way pin number 1 pin number 2 pin number 3 up to 7 here and other side 8 9 10 11 and 12 if you look at the pin diagram it appears like this in this pin diagram you can see four nand gates nand gate number 1 nand gate number 2 3 and 4 for the first nand gate first pin and second pin through these two pins input is given and output is connected to pin number 3 in the same way for the second nand gate 4 and 5 are inputs 6 is the output third nand gate 10th pin and 9th pin are the inputs 8th is the output for the last nand gate 13 and 12 are the inputs 11 is the output and power is given plus power is given here to the 14th leg and ground is given to the 7th leg so this is how we look at the pin diagram now just to perform the experiment using this 7400 ic we need an ic trainer see this is what that ic trainer digital we call it as digital ic trainer so this is a trainer which is for multi-purpose you can use four different ic's one two three four and you can perform the experiment and these parts are known as ic holders one two three four now the process of fixing ic is like this there is a lever this is an adjustable lever see first of all you have to make it free like this and the ic is kept carefully on this ic holder and then the lever is fixed now the ic is fixed now in the same way you can put any ic on these ic holders now we will look into the different parts this particular pin is known as the power switch on button power switch on button see we can switch it on like this and these are the knobs connected to the legs or pins so this knob is connected to pin number one this is connected to pin number two three four five six seven since we have only seven these eight and nine this is ignored after this seven you have to treat this as eight ninth 10 11 12 13 14 so this is how connections are made to different pins now this is the red button to which power supply plus of the power supply positive of the power supply is connected and this is the negative of the power supply now for the proper action of this ic 14 leg number 14 is connected to positive 5 volt leg number 7 is connected to negative or ground so this is how to give the power to ic now as you know nand gate is called a universal gate because it is possible to design all other basic gates using nand gates so the basic principle to convert this nand gate into different basic gates is like this see if you short the input terminals of a nand gate suppose you want to convert a nand gate into not gate what is done is here the two inputs of the nand gate are shorted and the common input is taken as a output is taken as y so normally for this particular circuit output is complement of the input which is nothing but a not gate now we will construct a not gate using this 7400 ic see first of all as i told you to use this digital ic trainer you have to give the power to the ic's now positive terminal of the power supply is given to 14th leg like this and in the same way 7th leg is connected to the ground this is how to give the power to ic main switch should be in the off position initially now as i told you already to convert a nand gate into a not gate the two inputs are shorted 
this is how it is done input number 1 is shorted with input number 2 like this see the two legs are shorted and the common wire from this shorted inputs is taken as the input signal to the common shorted terminal input is given see here we have series of inputs we can select any one suppose i connect it to the fourth input like this this is the input and this is the particular switch for this input if you switch it on input will be on if it is off input will be off and then third terminal or third leg is taken as the output output is connected to the output terminals like this now the circuit is ready for action once again i repeat initially power power is given positive to 14th leg negative to 7th leg to convert nand into not first two inputs are shorted and the common wire is connected to the input signal here third terminal is connected to the output signal now we will switch on the power supply see this is the switch provided if you switch it on now it is ready see this is the input if this is off now this led is off if i switch the input on output will be low here you can see if you switch it off output will be high so this is the not action actually if the input is low output is high if the input is high output is low so this is how very easily you can convert NAND gate into NOT gate. See input is low, output is high. If the input is high, output is low. Action of the NOT gate is summarized in this truth table. See if the input is low, output will be high. If the input is high, output will be low. So NOT gate is nothing but a complementary circuit. Output is complement of the input. Thank you. Now we shall try to convert and from NAND we know that whenever you connect a NOT gate in front of NAND double complement and it becomes ordinary AND gate see this is the circuit to convert a NAND gate into AND gate second part of the circuit is nothing but an inverter or NOT gate first part is NAND gate itself so whenever I keep a NOT gate in front of NAND resultant will be AND so to convert AND gate from NAND gates we need two NAND gates one of the NAND gate is taken as the inverter another is the NAND gate itself now the circuit is done like this as given in this circuit fourth terminal third and fifth shorted three four five legs are shorted one and two are treated as separate inputs six is taken as the output and as already told power is given through the same legs plus to 14 and 7 to i mean minus to 7th leg now we shall design the circuit as i told you already third fourth and fifth pins are shorted see this is the third pin it is shorted to fourth pin and that fourth pin is shorted to the fifth pin output is taken from the sixth pin see this is the output and first pin and second pin are taken as the separate inputs so input to the first pin like this one input and another input to the second pin is the second input now the circuit is ready we can verify this particular AND gate you have to switch on the power switch on the power now two inputs are low output is also low if you make one of the input high output is again low if you make other input high output is low when you make both inputs high then only there will be output so this is the and operation that is to say output will be high when both inputs are high see when both inputs are low output is low when one of the inputs are high output is low output is low output will be high only for both high inputs this is the AND operation action of the AND gate is summarized in this truth table it is a two input AND gate so these two columns for two inputs this will be for the output when two both the inputs are low output is low when one of the input is high output is low output will be high only when both inputs are high so output is 
ஹை வென் ஏ அண்ட் பி ஆர் ஹை ஸோ த நேம் அண்ட் கிட் In the same way, using this digital IC trainer and 7400 IC, you can design all basic kits OR, NOR, XOR, NAND, AND, etc. NAND gate is called universal gate. Thank you.